Well, hi, welcome back to Glitter 50. Don't I look like a clown now? So um, I'm using a new eye base because of the palette that I'm going to use. So I got this white eye base. Um, I know it's backwards and shiny, and um, but that's the name of it. I got it off of um, Amazon, and I just... I wanted a white base. I don't know why my camera just did all that. But anyway, um, so I'm going to be using the Flourish. Um, oh, it did that because of the white. Okay. I'm going to be using the Flourish palette today. So um, this is what this looks like, Whoop. like that. And I'm gonna be using the yellow, the orange, and this color right here. And then I'm gonna try to stick to just this. This right here is like my favorite color. It's a pale yellow with glitter. And so I'm gonna try to stay away from that. I might use a little bit of this too. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up my Singe Beauty. This is Angelica Nikvis, um brand of brushes. She just came out with um, two makeup bags, a small and a large. And she also came out with four blushes. And I want them. <laughs> but I'm putting myself on hold. They are available today. So this is the EO1. It's just a little it's a good packer brush so i'm gonna first start off with i can't read that name it's this one right here so we've had training sorry i'm gonna shut the drawer over here we've had training for the past two days um at work and today is what they call bridge days. So bridge days, for those of you who don't know, I drive school buses. Um, so bridge days are days where the sixth graders and the ninth graders, because they're going to a brand new school and to try to help them, you know, ease into it a little bit better, um, bridge days are for them to go in um, and kind of see the school for this first day, which is kind of like open house, but you don't necessarily, you don't go with parents to this one. This is just for kids and they get to know the staff and, you know, at least know a little bit more about the school. So today is um, a two hour late start. So normally I would have already been ready and pretty much out the door because my route starts at six o'clock um but uh because it's a two hour late start i am i don't have to be there until eight i still got up super early because that's just me i want to be because it's the first day because routes change because things are the way they are i want to go in earlier and check on things and you know um i was in the building two days ago and i checked and my route had not changed so i did not have any sixth or ninth graders which i really appreciate um not that i mind the age it's just less stressful right off the bat. So now I'm going to go into my Singe Beauty EO2. And this is just a small shader brush. And I'm going to take, again, and I know I should know these words, but I don't. And I probably do, I'm just being lazy. It's the bright yellow, and I wore this 
I actually used this palette yesterday and I loved it. Love this color. So I'm just going to put this. And we're going to trust the process because I know it, it looks really weird the way I'm doing it right now. But I, I have a, a means to my method. I'm tapping it off. Um, but I really, really like this color. So anyway, we're, it's called Bridge Days. But for those of us that do not have um, sixth and ninth graders, um, and even those who are doing um, Bridge Days, they are considering it what's called a dry run day. So what you do is you go out and you drive your route without picking up kids. Now I'm cleaning off that brush on my Sigma switch. And then I'm going to pick up the orange, which is called Flourish. I know that one. <laughs> Tapping it off, but see, this is the orange. And then I'm going to bridge the gap between the two because I think those will the orange will blend better. So I'm just kind of taking it a little bit at a time. So um, today is my dry run day where I go out and drive my route so I can see where all my kids are see, or where all the stops are. And then when I get back from my morning run, I will call all of my students so that the parents know, the students know, you know, we can get a rapport going. Because um, I actually drive the program route for Bethel, which program special needs, whichever one you want to call it, um, that's the routes that I choose because I feel like I just like them better. Um, so now I'm going to do that on the other side, obviously. So we're going to go and do that today. Um, I do not have to do my afternoon route because like I said I don't have any sixth or ninth graders so I don't have to be there for my afternoon run um which will be so nice and then we have a couple days off and then we are going back to school on Wednesday next week feels like we just started summer which part of that for me is because I drove summer school for the first time. Now I know this looks kind of crazy, um, but again, we're just going to trust the process because I have a vision in my head of what I want this all to look like. So I'm just taking this and buffing it out. So now I'm going to go back into that yellow very lightly, you know, so, so lightly. And I'm just going to go over the top with round circular motions and just blend. So there are no harsh lines. I know I'm doing tap off the excess. It's just so there's not so much powder flying, which with these shadows, honestly, there's not that much powder flying. So I'm just trying to create a smooth transition, which is why we do bridge days, a smooth transition for our students. All the, so not just program go on bridge days, it's, program and regular um, gen ed. So yeah, but so on Wednesday we did our sped training, which is, 
you know, making sure we know how to do the, um, the wheelchairs, harnesses, sorry, I was just confused for a second. So this again is another, I had to try, I, I'm trying to find more glitter glues because as much as I love my glimmer grasp, I don't have anything else that I really want to buy from Unearthly at this time. And I don't want to just buy this and I can't go to like Ulta or Sephora and buy those brands. So I wanted to go, I went to Amazon to see what they suggested. I can get the NYX on there, but sometimes the NYX glitter glue can um, crease on me. So I'm trying different ones. This one is called Glitzy Girl. Um, it's a glitter fixed gel. And this was like $2, $3. So, all right, I'll try it. And I'm going to put it on with a brush because I've got long nails now. And sometimes, well, all the time, I can't get into the corner of my eye. And like I said, this is my first time trying it. So I don't know what this is going to do, what it's going to look like. And I do both a lot. I do both eyes at the same time because that's just the way I do things. So, um, but yeah, so we did our training on Wednesday, which was just about eight hours. And then we did um, more training yesterday, which was just about eight hours. And whew, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. So I'm actually going to take my little brush. This brush is from ColourPop. And E20. And remember that bright or that pale yellow glittery? And I said we might use that. Well, we're going to use that. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on like the inner corner, really. I'm not going to use, I'm, I could put it over the whole thing, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it in the beginning part of my eye. Because that's where I want it the brightest. I like that part to be the brightest. Because I have a little hood right there. And if I put light, bright colors on the inside right there, it kind of creates an optical illusion. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to go in to this color down here and then this color. This is going to go towards the outer side. This is going to go over most of the lid. So this is what, that's just like a little... And I'm just going to put that, look, you see that color? Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm just doing the same on the other side. So um, yesterday's training was what they call PBIS, which it, I remember vaguely what the Basically, it's positive reinforcement. Um, that's not what the acronym stands for, but it's basically about positive reinforcement over negative reinforcement. So, um, building a rapport with your kids and using positive talk over negative talk, 
which yeah there are times that you have to use negative i mean everybody has it and there are days that i'm going to get frustrated or whatever and but hopefully i can i don't have an assistant this year which is new for me i've had an assistant just about every single year um but i don't have an assistant this year as of yet so we shall see we shall see because i have certain schools that i like to drive out of and when i went to bid on my route we didn't have A whole lot out of the schools that I like to drive out of so we shall see look at those eyes I love these glitters they're so pretty so I'm just tapping over the top of them alrighty I'm gonna go put my base on like I normally do and I shall be back Okay, so I have my base done. I cannot stop using this tear tear. It just, I love the way it looks on my skin. I use, I actually use two. I use the 24N Latte to do my whole face. And then I use the 23N Sand for my under eyes and like my t-zone sort of but other than that i have not used anything else no concealer no nothing and then of course my fenty beauty i'm stuck on using all of this before i open something else and again i'm still i mean i'm working so hard but this this has lasted like a long time i've been basically using just that bronzer pretty much all year and i still have more to go well so today i have this new blush it's called second date from ColourPop, and this is what she looks like um i'm going to use the blush that's in here and i'm gonna do i think it's patrick ta says to take the powder blush and put it on and then put the cream his cream blush over the top when he's using his but um so the way i look at it and it's probably just me but if you can do it with one you can do it with a couple um maybe the formulas don't necessarily blend that way but um i i have done it with the elf uh cream uh blushes and they have worked out just fine so i'm actually going to try it with this so for me this blush is okay it's not perfect and i'm only going i'm taking a dense brush and this is from anastasia beverly hills and this is an a30 and i'm just tapping in a little and i'm just gonna go over the top just a smidge now it doesn't to me it doesn't look like it lifts any but it does give it a little bit more color but i'm a lot extra that looks really good to me <laughs> see i just do a little i don't like swipe it on i don't do but I just kind of tap it on.
I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go back to the powder because I don't like shiny cheeks. And I'm going to put um, highlighter over the top. So I put a sandwich with my blush. I put, you know, the powder down, the cream down, and then I put powder over the top. And then I go over it again with my damp sponge so it kind of melts it all in together. And then I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Melts it right into my skin. I think that's pretty. It might look a little bright, but one, I like a brighter blush. Um, and it will even all out. I might take a little bit of my, I didn't put any more powder on this, but I'm going to put it over the top after I've used my damp sponge just to kind of, again, blend it in just a little bit. Oh, that's right. Um, this is Meadow. I don't want that one. This is Vampire Skin. So I ordered the Twilight bundle from ColourPop. I know I said I wasn't going to order anything, but there's a video coming on that. Anyway, so I got this. And I'm going to use... Sometimes these super shock they don't come out on a brush really well but i don't want a straight up we'll see how this works yes you can see it can you see that it's just we can oh yeah we can definitely build it up you see that? I'm just kind of digging my brush into it. And then, because that's what I like to do. I like to put it on my brow bone with my highlighter brush because I want it. I like to sparkle. Hi, glitter. <laughs> Anything that glitters. Should have been a raccoon. I don't know if you can see it on that side as much as you can see it on this side. But I can definitely see that. Mm, let's turn this down. There you go. You see that? Okay. Maybe I need a little bit more over here. Of course I need it. A little bit more everywhere. That's just what glitter does. So now I'm going to take my little itty bitty brush from ColourPop, the one I used to put the yellow on the inside, and I'm going to take a little bit of this and go on the inside, my inner corner. Maybe. There we go. Yes, see? I know when some people were ordering this collection, they wanted more from the Super Shock. And so I could take my finger and then just dap it on. But I don't really want to do that today. I mean, a part of me is screaming at me, do it, do it. But I don't really want to do that today. Most of me doesn't want to do that today. <laughs> um, alrighty, so I'm going to go into the Flourish palette again. And I'm going to clean off my Singe EO1. 
for those of you who haven't seen it, this is what a Sigma switch is. And I actually did just clean this, but it has two sides and you just take your brush and you clean it off. And I just bought another one. So in case that one ever doesn't work <laughs> or is too dirty or is wet and I really, really need it or whatever. So I'm going to go back into that deep burgundy color. It's kind of brown, but it's kind of purplish. It, it's a unique color. And I'm just going to take that one on my lower to connect it. Just like that. And then I'm going to just take whatever's left and kind of blend it with that glitter so that it just has a little bit more. Like you can't see the, you can see harsh lines, but you can't see harsh lines. Now I'm going into the orange just a little bit again. You just have, for me, I have to be careful because I can, I don't want it all over my base. Like I don't want it all on my face and after I've done my foundation and stuff. So I tend to not touch up a whole lot after I've put my face makeup on. Now I'm going to spray. Now this, this spray, it looks like the stay all night uh, micro fine setting mist from e.l.f. And it does have that in it, but it also has the ColourPop Pretty Fresh in it. I mix the two of them together. And rather than have five bottles up here, I only had this much left of the ColourPop one, so I just combined them. I know. It, it is what it is. Now I'm going to take my sponge. This sponge I got from Glam Light. It looks like a Hershey Kiss because it came out with the um, Hershey Kiss uh, collection that they did. And I really, really wanted it. I wanted it so much. Well, I think I got one and then um, I was getting something else and they were on sale. And so I got another one because, you know, more is more as Heather Austin would say. Heather Austin is another YouTuber that I watch that I really, really like. Um, I like the way she does her makeup. I like, she's beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. So now I need to choose a eyeliner. Uh, and that's not the one I wanted. I'm actually going to choose this one. This is the ColourPop Cream to Gel Liner. And I cannot tell you what the name of it is because I can't read the writing. It's too, excuse me, too small. But I wanted... A yellowy golden there. I'll be right back. All right. So here is 
the final look obviously my hair will dry just a little bit more but um this is what the final look is i love these colors this this is a great brand so i have over a hundred eyeshadow palettes which is excessive i know however i have some really top brands that i love ColourPop is one of them they have a really good eyeshadow formula um the odin's eye is top top tier um fantasy cosmetica is such a good brand so this one rates right up there with them um nomad cosmetics is a really good one um i have some really good palettes that i just absolutely love so all of that being said this is what i'm going to sport today for my bridge days that i don't have any children for oh for mascara i used um my hella thick uh mascara from fenty and i think it might be time to get rid of it because it's not holding up the hell hella thick anymore <laughs> anyway so please don't forget to like share and subscribe i really appreciate you all being here um please remember who's better than you absolutely nobody and have a great day and we'll see you soon bye